the Stanley Cup Finals start Saturday. Tampa and Dallas are the combatants. Who do I think is going to win the Stanley Cup Finals? And let's go over all the storylines, all that good stuff, and my prediction at the end. It's going to be a great Stanley Cup Finals, and I'm really excited for it. Dallas, first Stanley Cup Finals in 20 years. And Tampa Bay, first playoffs in five years. Now, well, let's see what's going on in this series. So Tampa Bay and Dallas, Game 1, Saturday, September 19th in Edmonton at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Let's go over the numbers. Tampa Bay Lightning, 43-21-6, 92 points. 2-1-0 in the round robin, defeated Columbus in 5 games, defeated Boston in 5 games, and defeated, defeated New York Islanders in 6 games. They've scored 59 goals and allowed 42 against. Points leaders Nikita Kucherov now leads the league in scoring in the playoffs with 26 points. Braden Point with 25 points. Victor Hedman with 9 goals, 15 points. He is tied with Bobby Orr for third highest among defensemen goal scoring in the playoffs. He is just behind Leash and Coffey for the lead. Andre Palat, 8 goals, 13 points, and Yanni Gord, 12 points. Goaltender, Vasilevsky, 14-5, 1.82 goals since established, 931 save percentage. Now more than ever, he is definitely still very underrated. And now more than ever, we will see him in action in the Stanley Cup Finals, which means the most. He's had a great run so far. Very consistent. Power play. 17.9% for Tampa. Tampa Bay, I think, has won, have, have gone 0 for 10 in their last opportunities. So, it's a struggling power play heading into this series. Penalty kill, 83.6%. Tampa actually lost both their games in the season. Both in overtime, 1-3-2 and 1-4-3 in overtime. So, you think if that counts or not? in this type of matchup. On the other side, Dallas Stars. What a story they've been. 37-24-8. 82 points. 1-2-0 in the round robin. Defeated the Calgary Flames in 6 games. Defeated the Colorado Avalanche in 7 games. And defeated the Vegas Golden Knights in 5 games. They've had a very tough road here. Defeating Colorado and Vegas. The top 2 seeds. That's a very, very good achievement. And props to them for making this, making it this far. Despite their goals for a 62 and goals against at 64, a minus 2 differential. But they are hanging in there. And they're doing very well. Points leaders, Miro Heiskanen, 22 points. He only had one point in the series since Vegas, so we'll see if we can show up a little bit more in this series. Jamie Benn, 8 goals, 18 points. Dennis Gurionov, 9 goals, 17 points. John Klingberg, 16 points. And Joe Pavelski, 9, point, 9 goals, 14 points. Goaltenders, Ben Bishop, he is, I believe, still injured. 1-2, 5.43, 844. Save percentage, we will not expect him to start a single game in this series. It's going to be Hudobin. And Vasilevsky. Hudobin is 12 and 6, 2.62 goals in Stavish and 920. Save percentage. Definitely improving his game over the past series against Vegas. We've seen some great playing by Hudobin and making those timely saves and just keeping the Dallas Stars in it every time. Every time they fall behind, Da Hudobin is there and he is there to bail off his team. Dallas, power play 27.3%. They're 3 for 8 in their last two games. Their power play is hot right now, and we'll see if Tampa can deal with such adversity in the power play. Penalty kill 83.3%. As I said, Dallas won the season series 2 0, but both wins were in overtime. I don't know if anyone expected Dallas to make the Stanley Cup Finals.
I believe I voted Dallas to lose in every single one of their series against Calgary, Colorado, and Vegas. I predicted Calgary to win in six games. I think I I voted for Colorado to beat Dallas in six games and Vegas to win in six as well. But now we're here with Dallas beating Calgary, Colorado, and Vegas. And that is amazing considering how many times they've fell, fallen behind throughout games. But they have shown that they don't give up. Now, is that a good idea to come into a series against Tampa Bay when they fall behind very much and allow a lot of goals? Again, most of those goals were from the previous rounds. They only allowed eight goals in the five games against Vegas. So that is a very, very interesting stat, but they only scored nine. It was a very close series, that's for sure, even though it wasn't five games. Now, a big part of this is going to be the power plays. Dallas surging, Tampa Bay falling. Now, we'll see what happens with that. Now, let's go on to my prediction. My prediction is going to be Dallas Stars in six games. I know that will shock a lot of you that think Tampa is going to win this. And Dallas, they remind me of an underdog. An underdog in every single series. And very much like the St. Louis Blues last year. They weren't able to beat the Boston Bruins. And this time, I think their underdog status is starting to fade. But stars are locked in right now. And they're not fatigued. They they are going to have four days between games. Tampa will only have one. I don't know the factor of rust will come in. But they do have lots of time to practice on the practice rink in Edmonton. So... I wouldn't worry about the rust factor very much. Come back, kids, because strike again. The Stars have five wins when trailing through two periods. Now, I don't know if that's a very good idea to take against Tampa, because Tampa is a very offensively talented team. But they're also very defensive. Victor Hedman being a big part of that. And, of course, Andre Vasilevsky is a very good goaltender. But Tampa Bay has some cause for concern as Braden Point has been injured a couple times in the last series. He was out for game three and game five in that series since New York. And let me say, Tampa is 4-0 when Braden Point's in the lineup and 0-2 when he was out in that series since New York. So, Braden Point, a very key asset for Tampa and they're going to need him. And some big storyline matchups here. We have Miro Haskin and his Victor Hedman as the primary defenseman. And that's going to be very interesting. A rookie against a veteran. It's just a great sight. And then we have the goaltender duel, Hudobin and Vasilevsky. Both goaltenders who are heading in a very good direction. As I said, Tampa has struggled with the power play. They've went 1 for 14 since game 2 against New York. And Dallas, 3 for 8 in the last two games, 37.5%. Both teams are good in overtime. I believe Tampa is 6-1 and one in overtime, and Dallas is 4-0. and oh. This is going to be a very exciting series. Dallas' first finals appearance since 2000, Tampa since their loss since Chicago in 2015. But what can I say about this series, except it's going to be very exciting, and... You could do either way, obviously. We have seen how unpredictable the playoffs are. So far in my predictions, I believe I am 10 for 21. If I get this prediction right, I'll be 50% this playoffs. But this, this is not about me. It's about if these two teams can play like they have played over their last series. Tampa looks a little bit more shaky at times. But a lot of the times, is Tampa out playing Dallas. I'm sorry, Tampa out playing New York, but just not scoring. They even stifled by goaltenders. Udobin might be another big factor here. I think Tampa, if they get the first game, they will get their confidence back. They need to get that first game. 
But for Dallas, they need to keep it up. Keep pushing. Udobin keep playing well. I know their defense is leaves a little bit to be desired sometimes. But they have a very gifted forward group as well. Some some forward group that you would not expect to be this, this good. But they have been this good. Now, we'll see what happens here, won't we? Tampa and Dallas game one on Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Pacific time. And we'll see what happens here. So, on Sunday, we will do the recap of week seven of the playoffs. And we will go over the entire conference finals. And we will go over game one of Tampa and Dallas. I will include this entire preview in the recap video on Sunday. So, no worries there. That's going to wrap it up for my preview here today. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. We are less than two weeks away from the Stanley Cup winner. The Stanley Cup Finals end on the 30th. 11 days. They're going to come by real quick. And that's going to wrap it up here. So as always, it is time for us to go see you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Have a great weekend and we'll see you very soon.